What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Ramble On by Led Zeppelin, the seventh song off of their second album. Ramble On, I have heard so much about. Um, I get requests of this song nearly every time I upload a video. And so I think this is a big, big moment on the album. And I'm excited because after this, I have Moby Dick and Bring It On Home, which are also heavily requested songs. Before we get into it, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I am, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and I just, I can't believe the, the overwhelming support I've gotten just starting up this channel during, during quarantine. And it just, it means the world to me. So make sure to just subscribe, make sure to keep up to date with my content. And I really appreciate it guys, so. Let's get right to it. That bass, my goodness, John Paul Jones, dictating the mood of the song. I love that. I love how that acoustic guitar just keeps going. It just ago, keeps going. Days of old with magic filled the air. Just in the darkest depths of mourning, I met a girl so fair. But Gollum at the evil wall crept up and slipped away. I love how that 
I'm like, I like how that ends. Is there no surprise fade back in? No. That is it. The sound of it is what is something I really enjoyed. It just made me feel like everything was all right. Like I was on this mini adventure in, in the forest heading for, I don't know, the fucking like wizard on top of the hill. I don't, I don't know. It truly felt like a song that, that really m maximized all four layers that, that the band encompasses. You had the vocals taken care of by Robert, just doing an incredible job. And it was cool because it made his voice sound very soft in this song and it, and it added to the overall feel of it because with the acoustic involved, with that bass, and then the surprise drums, it, it just kind of all fit in together. I really liked that. I liked how his voice sounded. And then you had the guitar, which was subtle in this. It wasn't the standout feature as like it usually is. I love how it went from acoustic to a small insert of electric. And as always, I can trust Jimmy with anything man i could trust that man with my my future son trust that he would raise him to be a good man you know for me in this song the two standouts are john paul jones and john bonham john paul jones was probably the most attention grabbing feature of the song that bass was hypnotizing it made me feel kind of hopeful kind of uplifted it i don't know it was very a very positive bass and i like how john bonham came in with the drums, with the percussion. I'm not even sure if it was present during the verses. From what I remember, the, the drums were pretty silent for the most part, and then they come in, kind of like how in uh, How Many More Times. Yeah, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. This is probably going to be in my top five of the album. Make sure to subscribe because at the very end, once I finish reacting to all the songs on this album, I'm going to rank every single song in terms of my personal preference as well as revealing which one I like more, Led Zeppelin 1 or Led Zeppelin 2. Yeah, guys, hope you guys liked the reaction. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Ramble On, and I'll see you guys next time.